video we'll try to understand a very important concept called convolution for this let us consider an LTI system let this block represent an LTI system which has an input x of n and output y of n here we only know what's our input but we do not know how this system behaves with respect to this input and hence we cannot determine its output so what we can do here is let us consider the same LTI system this time feed it with an impulse and we'll get output y of n which is impulse response h of del of n now we know how this system behaves with respect to the given impulse which is impulse response of the system coming back to the initial case now we know how this system behaves with respect to the impulse which is impulse response of the system but we still do not know how this system behaves with respect to given input x of n so to solve this if we can write input in terms of impulses I'll repeat if we can write input in terms of impulses and having already known what's the impulse response of the system which is h we can determine its output the next task is how can we write input in terms of impulses that's very easy take input x of n and multiply it with impulse that's it now we have written our input in terms of impulses what is this x of n x of n is the superposition of any values ranging from minus infinity to plus infinity we'll try to rewrite this again x of n is equal to x of minus 1 del of n minus of minus 1 which is del of n plus 1 plus x of 0 del of n plus x of 1 del of n minus 1 plus and it goes till infinity we'll try to understand this x of minus 1 is value of x of n at the position minus 1 x of 0 is value of x of n at the position of 0 and x of 1 is the value of x of n at the position 1 we'll try to rewrite this again x of n is equal to x of k del of n minus k and let this k range from minus infinity to plus infinity we have rewritten the above equation in this format and now till now what we have done is we have expressed our input in terms of its impulses and after knowing what's its impulse response we can write its output y of n which is impulse response of the input and substituting the value for x of n we can write k equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k del of n minus k here I assume that we already know linearity property of an LTI system I'll state it again the response to weighted sum of inputs is equal to same weighted sum of output so that each output is associated with the corresponding input 
if we apply that linearity property here, we can write the equation like this k equal to minus infinity into infinity x of k h of del of n minus k. This is the constant and this h comes to here because of the linearity property. Let us represent this term as h of n and rewriting this we will get k equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k h of n. Till now what we have done is we have expressed input in terms of impulses and we have applied the linearity property but we still haven't applied property called time invariance. Time invariance which is nothing but if there is any shift in the input that results a shift in the output. After applying that time invariant property we'll get this equation k equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k if there is any shift in the input that results a shift in the output also. This is a shift. This shift was there in the input and this shift comes in the output also. This is called our convolution and that can be written like this x of n convolved this is the convolution symbol with h of n is equal to this equation k equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k h of n minus k this is convolution sum it's called sum because we have considered the discrete time signals when we consider continuous time signals this is called convolution integral and we'll consider that thing in the later videos.